Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you have been enjoying your day. And so uh, in this video, we're going to quickly take a look at what is going on in terms of the disturbance in the Caribbean. So as of the latest update from the National Hurricane Center, the 1 p.m. update, there we can see that uh, that area being watched is well to the south of Jamaica and just offshore of Panama. That is where that elongated low pressure area is uh, found. So it is expected to make a turn a bit up to the northwest, but mostly up to the north and then a turn to the northeast. That is what we're seeing here on the National Hurricane Center's graphic. And it still has that high 70% chance of formation through the next seven days while a 20 percent chance of formation through the next 48 hours or two days so this may still try to become a tropical cyclone but regardless there is going to be a lot of heavy rainfall across portions of the greater antilles as well as the southern bahamas and the turks and caicos islands but jamaica eastern cuba haiti and the dominican republic should be keeping watch for this system as we take a look at the satellite imagery, there we can see that the majority of the activity right now is confined over in the Western Caribbean. And there is that new blob that has developed uh, near where that area of low pressure is found. So a lot is going on right now. There has been some periods of heavy rainfall across sections of Central America, such as uh, Honduras, Nicaragua, even Belize as well has experienced some heavy rainfall. And much not going on over in the east, maybe some passing showers at times, but it has been a pretty sunny day for the most part. And so uh, in terms of the latest update from the Climate Prediction Center, I want to go on to that very quickly here. So this is as we're going to be heading out into the week of the 22nd to the 28th of November. And uh, there we can see we're focusing on the Atlantic. We can see that green shading. So that is representing a chance of above average rainfall activity. Notice that we're not seeing any red highlights on this here for the Atlantic. And that is indicating that tropical cyclone development is not anticipated uh, within that time frame. So it's likely that after whatever tries to form in the Caribbean or potentially even off the southeastern coast of the U.S. It's because models are showing that we may see some development there. Uh, after that, then it is likely that the hurricane season will come to a close. But there isn't a 0% chance for anything to form in December. I mean, temperatures are still quite warm right now across portions of the Caribbean. So even a very small window of opportunity uh, can allow for something to try to form. Not a guarantee, though. I give that a very low chance of actually happening. But in terms of what models have to show, they're definitely showing a lot of that rainfall activity associated with the disturbance making its way into the vicinity of Jamaica, eastern Cuba, Haiti, potentially the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, as well as the Turks and Caicos Islands. So those areas need to be watching this system for the short term uh, as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days. So, uh, let's see how that goes, guys. And of course, I'm here to keep you posted as per usual. And I know that this update is quite short. I'm having some major device issues, but I'm just determined to ensure that I get this evening update out to you. So stay tuned for my next update coming tomorrow morning. I'll try to get these issues sorted out as best and as soon as I can. And that is pretty much it for now. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And remember to always be weather wise.